Welcome to Lecture Online. Continuing some of the basics that we need to be very familiar with is the various operations. The operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The way we write addition is a plus b. And the way we say it is the sum of a and b when we have the sum is the result of the addition. With subtraction, we write a minus b, and the result of the subtraction is the difference. So we, we write the difference of a and b. And the order of those two is very important and sometimes very confusing. What happens when you say the difference of b and a? Then you have to reverse the order, and then it would be b minus a, so it's very important in how you say this. The difference of a and b means a minus b. If you say the difference of b and a, that means b minus a. Another way of saying this is that b is subtracted from a, and the result is the difference. When we write the multiplication, notice we no longer use the x symbol for multiplication. The reason why we don't is because the letter x is used a lot in algebra, so we don't want to confuse things. Instead, we use the dot. a dot b means a multiplied with b. Or, we can also say it's the product of a and b. In this case, the order doesn't matter. You can say the product of a and b, or the product of b and a, and you get the exact same result. Other ways of writing a times b is putting parentheses around the a and parentheses around the b with nothing in between. That also means that a is multiplied with b. Here you can only have one of the two with parentheses, the other one without, and so this is also a multiplied with b or the product of a and b. And you can reverse parentheses. You can put parentheses on the first one and not on the second one. This also means the product of a and b. Or you can simply write a and b together. This also means a multiplied times b. Even though they're written together like that, it still means the product of the two. When we get to division, we use this symbol right here. It's a line with two dots, one above and one below the line. So this means the quotient of a and b. The quotient is the result of the division. Order here again, just like with subtraction, is very important. If you write the quotient of a and b, that means that a is divided by b. But if you write the quotient of b and a, then it's b divided by a. So the order there is very important. Other ways of writing the quotient means a with a line like this. This means a divided by b. This also means a divided by b. And this also means a divided by b. If you want to reverse it, you put b there and you put a there. That means b divided by a. So those are the symbols that you need to be very familiar with. Notice it makes no difference in how you write multiplication. There's many different ways that mean exactly the same thing. And there's many different ways in which you can write a quotient or a division. And that you need to be very familiar with before moving on to high school mathematics.